Hello friends. Um, I thought I would just piece together a couple short videos of our prep for our fajitas. Um, I do have the steak in the fridge um, marinating, so nothing exciting to see there just yet. Um, but I wanted to show you the scoop loop, which is an item that I got more recently. Um, and it's used to scoop out the insides of your peppers. So the seeds and all of that type of thing can take it out super easy. And it's got a big end and a smaller end, I guess for depending on the size of your pepper, but I like to use that smaller end to get the rest of those little loose seeds out of there. And so if you wanted to make uh, a recipe where you put meat and all kind of stuff and bake them right in your peppers, you could do that too. And I've got green peppers and red peppers and I will tell you that I am not an expert on peppers. I only have really ever bought peppers in my life for these Pampered Chef recipes. Hmm. And it looks like my green pepper has molded on the inside, so I guess I should have refrigerated it. Uh, so there, that's that. Our, um, ooh. Yeah, our fajitas will not have green peppers, just red peppers and onions. Catch you in a minute. Anywho, figured I would have an opportunity to show you the food chopper, um, which can be used on its base or can be used on a mat to cut things up. So I'm gonna do maybe half of the onion at a time, or maybe even a quarter, because then I can dice it real small, I think. Woo! Well, my eyes are tearing up. <laughs> oh my gosh. Typically every party I sell at least one chopper, so that's a pretty popular item. And look how fine those onions are diced. I am not a huge onion fan, I will be honest. I love the flavor of an onion. Um, I don't like to bite into an onion. I don't like the texture of an onion, even when it's cooked. So for me, the smaller that you can dice them, the better. Um, so this chopper is perfect for me. And one thing that is really nice about it is that it comes completely apart, like completely apart into several pieces, and you can put it in the dishwasher. <laughs> going on these and if you have somehow made it this far without ever seeing me shred cheese um pampered chef has a multi-positional cheese grater um i often have it set up like this and have my kids shredding cheese just right onto a mat um but the recipe that i'm making today requires the entire block of cheese so i am just going to shred it into the smaller of my batter bowls so it's got a place for the cheese to go and then kind of like a a pusher, I call it, or a protector, so that you don't slice your fingers off when you're shredding the cheese. So this one block of cheese is probably gonna fill this bowl, I would think, um, because again, when you shred cheese that, um, well, when you buy cheese that is not pre-shredded, then you shred it yourself, you get more shreds for the weight, um, but also it melts better, so it's just a little bit nicer that way. All right, hopefully my hubby's gonna come soon and start that grill. And just in case you didn't believe me, I've got about four cups of shreds here from that one eight ounce block of cheese. Now, if you buy a bag of cheese with eight ounces, it'll say about two cups. Take a look at that. Save your money. So I am not showing you all the steps uh, to this Mexican street corn dip, but I need a quarter cup of mayonnaise and that is the perfect opportunity to show you our mini measure all cup. So you can put thick, dry, like moist but like liquids go on the other side but for mayonnaise peanut butter things like that i like to measure them in my mini measure all because you can just use it like a plunger and plop you get the exact amount that you wanted into your recipe and then this can come apart into two pieces and you can put it in the dishwasher it's fantastic look i'm zesting a lime yeah, and now i'm out. juicing a lime And the kernel cutter is just one of those things that um, before Pampered Chef, I didn't know it existed and I didn't know that I needed it. Um, but it's so super easy to use. So I'm doing four um, ears of corn here, getting all the kernels into my dip. All right, so I've got my street corn dip all mixed up here. Um, I didn't tell you everything that's in here, but I will post the recipe. There's mayo, there's Greek yogurt. Um, instead of chili powder, I use the chili lime rub for Pampered Chef to give it 
maybe a little bit more kick, but there's Parmesan, there's pepper jack cheese, there's garlic, of course, there's lime juice, um, corn, jalapeno, onions. Um, I'll do cilantro at the end and we will serve this with tortilla chips, but I've got it covered with foil and I'm gonna take it down to the grill where my hubby is. All right, so I've got my handsome hubby out here and he has got our steak and onions and peppers and only red peppers because my green pepper was moldy unless you forgot somehow. Um, but we are going to add the corn dip to the grill. And we've got our grilling tool set here, which is, if you're not familiar with Pampered Chef, um, these are really big, really good size uh, grill tools here. So I got Joel this set last year um, around Father's Day. So he's gonna get the heat going here for the corn uh, dip too. And then we will be back to show you how everything turned out. And here comes Mr. Pampered Chef. It's gonna put our steak right on the trivet. So if you wanted to play fancy and bring this to your guests, sizzling and steaming to the dinner table, you could. So here is our finished Mexican street corn dip and our steak fajitas. All right, you guys. Even though this party is over, you can still place an order. Um, you have until our host close out at Tuesday night. Thank you.